made a breakthrough. We can't lay claim to Dewa 3 and make it our new home without allies. The planet is close to Klingon space, although they've never formally claimed it. If we could get their support, or that of the Federation, we would be able to break away from the Romulan Star Empire without worrying what the Tal Shiar will do. Datan has been working for weeks to get the Klingons and the Federation to agree to talks. Now representatives from both factions will be at Kittimer to hear our proposal, and so will the Empress. I want you there as well. I think we'll need someone like you on our side. It won't be easy, but this is our best chance to create a new life and a new home. Kittimer. This place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Zatan is waiting for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. I wonder what it takes to be put in the Gallery of Honor. Chamber of Conquest. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the Tall Shi'ar. It's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit... tense right now. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sela's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking, get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. Both of them want to learn more about Romulan technology, and they're willing to do a great deal for us to acquire it. We will have to be careful not to get dragged into their war, however. We are already dealing with the Tal Shi'ar, and that is more than enough. I believe both of them see us as a potential resource. While I'm not terribly happy about that, it is a way to get them to assist us. And until we are established on a world of our own, we need their help. We're still working on an agreement, but an initial proposal is on the table. The Federation and Klingons will help us establish new Romulus, as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take, one that will hopefully work. You can start by speaking with some of the delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented, does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. of heroes. They're probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans.
The diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just stares daggers at everyone. Half my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the staff leaders like rampaging togs. And we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing green bloods. Oh, did I offend you? Well, get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you yet, and I don't know if we ever will. Understand their stance, but still, there are issues. The would be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? One of the Tan's followers. Greetings. I am Ambassador Satas, representative for the Klingon Empire. I am curious, what exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in an allegiance? The Tan is no warrior, and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. You do have a point. The fact that you've survived this long against the Tal Shar says something about your people. However, it does not say whether or not you are in the right in this civil war of yours, or if this is just an elaborate Romulan plot. We shall see just how trustworthy you are in the days to come. At least you have some manners. Nice to know that you all aren't as ill-bred as the stories say. Bah! You don't even respond to an insult. Looks like you're on your best behavior. <laughs> Since we're being diplomatic, I suppose it could be said that you people may not be entirely worthless. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink does not mean we are friends. I'm keeping an eye on you and your kind. The Klingons don't seem too thrilled with the idea of being allies. Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. One of our new potential allies. I am Jiro Sugihara, a representative of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now, please don't take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole of the Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments. But I believe with some work, we can all come to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? 
Of course you do, of course. Why else would you and other fine and forward-thinking Romulans, such as Datan, be present here at this conference? I like to think of all of us, Federation, Klingon, and Romulans alike, as engineers. We're building bridges to a newer and brighter future. We're architects, designing load-bearing structures upon which we might build vital cooperative efforts. But before we get to the window dressing, of course, you know where we must begin. Why, with the foundations. You knew that, of course. There's nothing we cannot achieve if we're able to continue to sit down and discuss our differences. And bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. So as one potential friend to another, I ask this entirely as a personal question. How do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and discuss the issue rationally, we can... We've all come to see that reunification is a wonderful idea, isn't it? Bringing long-lost brothers back together and mending hurts from so long ago. Really, that's what the Romulans and Vulcans are, don't you think? A family divided. It's a shame. I think of my daughter. She's a lovely girl. Takes after her mother in many respects. She's on Bajor now, but I love seeing her as much as possible. I couldn't imagine how dreadful being separated from her would be. But that's what Romulans and Vulcans must feel all the time. That's why I believe reunification should happen as soon as possible. Imagine all the wounds it would heal, the pain that would go away. That would only be the start. If Vulcans and Romulans could find peace, why not peace with the Klingons, the Herogen? It would be a wake-up call to all races that peace, prosperity, and unity are all possible. Our Federation has its problems, but we've learned to live and work together. There's no reason we all can't do so. I know you're kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts to be disarming. It has yet to be determined if anyone is being hunted. If that is the case, Starfleet will take the appropriate action within the bounds of the Prime Directive. I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deceptions, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. That is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I suggest you do not try. Jolan True, what do you have to report? There's doubt everywhere. We will have to be careful not this to- This conference is a farce. Sila! You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens and colony attacks. Wild stories? Until now, I gave your little movement some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the error of your ways. This ridiculous conference shows me I've been far too forgiving. You! How could you? Toven! That's enough! You two, please leave this to Tamer and me. Unbelievable. How can that woman stand there and deny everything? 
If you ask me, the only thing worse than the tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. There should be no allegiance with such... Hold on. We're getting a message from the ship. They're picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of Kittimer to them. However, I'm certain that the singularity signature I'm detecting is the same ship that was in orbit of Virenot during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the Klingons' objections? I'm picking up multiple anomalies in the area, but the Klingons are still ignoring them. We should investigate them, and be prepared for whatever happens. Keep an eye out for Klingon ships. If any hostiles appear, they'll show up too. If we're lucky, they'll target the enemy and not us. The Alachi were hiding the tall Shi'ar ship. that you were the one who discovered us. I'm quite happy you did, though. Now I have a chance to rectify the mistakes of Gasco Station. Captain Gerard, you have no place in this fight between us. This is a Romulan affair. Colonel Hakeem, you came into sovereign Klingon territory with hostile intent. 
You brought these aliens into our space. Now you have the unmitigated goal to try to give orders to a Klingon warrior? This is not a Romulan affair anymore, Colonel. You have insulted me, and you will pay the price! I don't care if you have a hundred Klingon ships. You will not stop me! something down to the surface before he warped. I think... Yes, we're getting confirmation. He beamed explosives down to Kittimer. We've got to get down there and disarm them before anyone finds out. Even a hint of a problem like this, and the conference will be shut down. We'll lose our best chance for colonization. What is your status? I'm in the Hall of Heroes now, and things are underway. Did you handle the situation with the Alachi? This is not good. It will be too easy for any disturbance to be blamed on us, and Hakiv knows it. I'll start searching the Hall of Heroes. Contact me once you've found all of the explosives on your end. I'll do my best to discreetly look for anything amiss over here. Make sure the Klingons do not find the bombs first. If they do, there's a good chance we'll be seeing one another soon in a jail cell. Paul Shi'ar had spies here the entire time.
Did you get the explosives? Good. That's a relief. I found a bomb near one of the statues in the back of the hall. I should be able to confirm that these devices were made by the Tal Shi'ar once the conference is over. It will be more proof that they cannot be trusted. Why don't you come inside the conference? The Klingons are about to speak. It should be interesting to hear what they have to say. Conclusion, think about how many times we've been fooled by Romulans. Sela already sent the Tal Shiar to attack us here. Who is to say Detan is not part of her plan? We must not allow this alliance to happen. Hakeev! Treacherous Greenblood! Stay what back! What do you think you're doing? What? What are you? Remember this. He gave his life for me, for a Klingon. Tamer's death will not be in vain. Now we have the opportunity to secure our future. The Federation looks favorably upon our endeavors, but it will take time for them to commit. Now Tamer has shown the Klingons that there is honor and nobility among us. We may not have gotten what we wanted today, but I foresee a day where we will build a home and a life on new Romulus. The next step must be yours. Both Starfleet and the Klingon Defense Force have agreed to take Romulans into their forces. I'd like you to be the first. You will be our eyes, ears, and hands in their fleets. More importantly, you will be our voice. Where you serve is your choice. But wherever you go, always remember that you are Romulan. If you haven't done so already, speak with the representatives of the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Then, take some time to think it over. When you are ready, speak with Subcommander Nadell back on the flotilla. Tamer died with honor. When my time comes, I hope I can do the same. His sacrifice showed me that we have a common enemy. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a Klinger! I would be proud to give my aid to you and Detan. We will hunt the Tal Shi'ar like the dogs they are. Tamir's sacrifice will be remembered. I promise you that. Personally, I have never liked the Tal Shi'ar. But we of the Diplomatic Corps are always committed to trying to find peaceful solutions first. But we can help you in your fight to bring justice to the Tal Shi'ar, if you accept our assistance. We know you have much to do to build a new homeworld and free your people. The Federation wants to be your ally in everything. Tamer gave his life so that we would be understood by the others. I know I won't forget this. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to take down the Tal Shi'ar, so I'm with you on this, no matter what. The ship is awaiting our return whenever you're ready. We need to report to Subcommander Nadal and let her know everything that's happened. Welcome back. I'm Subcommander Nadal. Tamer's final actions impress both the Klingons and the Federation. The time has come for you to decide who you will be allied with. Starfleet and the Klingons both have sent diplomats to stay here at the flotilla. Talk to them if you have any questions, then speak to me when you are ready to make your choice.
time is short. What do you need of me? This final choice must be yours, but I know you will honor Tamer and serve our people well, no matter where you decide to go. So what is it to be then? The Klingons or the Federation? Time is short. What do you need of me? Tamer was a great man. He touched so many lives among the survivors, and I know he thought very highly of you. I can think of no better way to honor his commitment and sacrifice than by continuing to serve the Romulan people. On to business. The flotilla will be working on beginning settlement of Dewa Three, or what we're calling New Romulus. Good luck out there. Time is short.